We're Cody and Christina, and this week we found out for ourselves just how amazing Ashland, Oregon is for mountain biking and found some of the most beautiful camping we have ever seen. Surprisingly, it is still wildflower season above 6,000 feet here, and we got to enjoy flowers of every imaginable color as we hiked along the Pacific Crest Trail. To finish off our stay, Cody got to ride the best of Mount Ashland, a mountain bike ride that starts at the top of Mount Ashland and descends all the way back into town. Enjoy as we celebrate one month living in the van. What's, What's up, up guys? guys? We have some exciting news because today marks one full month of living in the van. Full time. And we last saw you guys back in Grants Pass, Oregon when we were mountain biking for a little bit. And the past couple of days we've been spending our time around Ashland, Oregon, which is just uh, north of the California border, and we've absolutely been loving it. We came here to mountain bike. The town's absolutely amazing. So cute. It's really cute. The people are really, really friendly, and the camping is so nice now that we're back in Oregon. Mm -hmm. um, the past couple of days we've been down in town, and last night, actually yesterday afternoon, we ended up uh, up Mount Ashland. The most beautiful place ever. Yeah, we have views of a perfectly flowery meadow right along the PCT trail. It was cold out last night, it wasn't hot. We saw the comet last night and we woke up this morning to views of Mount Shasta. So we got the van parked over here and check out this meadow. All beautiful wildflowers. There's some colors as we get farther out to the left. That's Mount Shasta hiding in the clouds out there. And then up there is the peak of Mount Ashland, which is potentially where we're gonna be heading tomorrow to do some mountain biking. So we really don't have a plan today. I think we're gonna take a walk along the PCT because the flowers are just absolutely exploding up here. Just hang out the rest of the day because it is just so relaxing being up here. We have cured our indecisiveness for the day and we have decided that we're gonna be going on a little hike, but first we need to clean up our mess that we made, pack up and then we'll get going. Let's go hike! Bye bye van. <laughs> this area is called Grouse Gap where we're camping. We're right off of the Forest Service Road 20. Um, we met a couple people. It's kind of cool because where we lived in Palm Springs, we were only about 30 miles into the Pacific Crest Road because we were so close to Mexico. And now we're, well, I don't know how far we in, but they've been hiking along for about three months. So it's kind of neat knowing people from the very beginning and then seeing people also out here. It's so cool because back at home, we saw tons of wildflowers and now we're back in them. I find that I'm always having to make amends for shortcomings. Trying to make my way knocking on every door in this maze. The time sits all out of reach, soldier We just can't get over these flowers. We've seen purple, we've seen red, we've seen orange, we've seen yellow, we've seen white. Have I missed any colors, babe? <laughs> Pink! Oh my gosh, it just doesn't end. Look at these, I don't even know what they are. They're absolutely beautiful. There's water running. We've been attacked by like a hundred hummingbirds. There's bees everywhere. This is amazing. This is pretty much our first hike that we've done in Oregon. I would say it's a good one. Now we're gonna make some food and unwind a little bit and we'll see what we'll do next. 
So we actually ended up hanging out in the area that we're in and that's mainly because we want to enjoy the view. We wanted an early dinner because we were super hungry, right? Yeah. <laughs> We so, get hangry when we're hungry. Yeah, so we needed to eat, and after a while we're like, oh, should we go up and and hike or go on a run or do this or do that? I ended up taking a shower. We cleaned up after dinner, and now we're just cleaning up some more around the van. And putting away all of our camera gear for the day because we have a lot of different devices that we like to film on, and as soon as we get back from using said devices, they kind of just explode all over the couch. And then I have to figure out which things need to be charged and all that different stuff. After we were done making dinner, we started hearing like some loud booms and stuff outside the van. And we saw some clouds rolling in and then all, we, all of a sudden we realized that there was rain dumping out on Mount Shasta. That's probably not too far from us. It was heading our way, it looked like. And it was heading our way. And it looks like it's just kind of creeping around us now, but there's thunder, there's lightning so out So maybe. There. Maybe we'll get a little bit of a storm. We haven't had a storm in the van yet, so that'd be really, really fun to have. Mm -hmm. That'd be really fun to have. Good morning guys. It's uh, Friday morning. Sadly we didn't get any rain last night even though there was it looked like it was going to and there was thunder and stuff all around us. Uh, we just got up. Chrissy's still in bed. Where are you at? Oh there she is. <laughs> so we just got to uh, clean up camp and then I think we're going to head over towards the ride that I'm going to be doing which is the best of Mount Ashland. I'm basically going to be starting from a little over 6,000 feet and descending all the way back into town to Lithia Park and doing like 12 different trails. I have no idea how long it's going to take me, but it's going to be super, super fun. Chrissy volunteered to uh, actually drive the van all the way back down because shuttles just to do this ride are like 20 bucks. So that's kind of how it came about for us to come up here and actually camp and then I could do this massive ride. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's Shasta peeking out through the fog out there, so that's pretty sweet. Last year when we drove through California to get up to Oregon, we actually came around the base of Shasta and we were hoping to see it this trip. We had no idea that we were going to be camping directly across it, so that's pretty neat. I wanted to uh, mention to you guys, you definitely need to have some sort of recovery gear when you're living in these things. So we've been using these uh, go treads. They're foldable, unlike uh, what most people use, which are the Max Tracks. The Max Tracks are actually only rated for light SUV weight, whereas these are rated for up to LMB light military vehicles. Um, so they fold up, which is really nice. They are just as grippy. They pulled us out of the sand a couple times, and we get to use them as a leveling block, which is sick. Uh, but we're all packed up now, and wait till you see the drive over to the trail. It's sick. So how do you feel being the uh, shuttler driver for the day and driving about five miles of dirt roads and finding your way back to town? <laughs> feel in control. <laughs> Normally I'm the one that drives, but Chrissy's taking the wheel today, which is very kind of her, so I thank you, sweetie pie. just my GoPro chest now. All right. I'm good. Love you. I love you. Um, so I'll call you as soon as I get service when I hit that four corners area, which I think should be within an hour or about an hour. Okay. And you call me if you need anything and I'll get it when I have service and then I'll get in touch with you. All right. Okay. Alrighty guys, made it up the half a mile climb from where I left Christina 
to the start of time warp, the first drum going down. And uh, supposedly this is a pretty long descent. We're gonna find out. I haven't really been mountain biking a ton the past year. So I'm definitely gonna be taking it slower than usual. And I don't know this trail at all. So let's see what we can get into. Oh my God, just right off the bat, it's so much fun. Woo! There you have it guys, Ashland's best, 17 miles, hour 35 in from uh, the tippy tippy top, just cruising back down to the bike shop now. You. As you guys can see, we are uh, rolling out of Ashland right now. We loaded up the van, the ride was absolutely insanely fun. It was 1.5 hours. I'm glad you had fun. Oh, it was so much fun. It was 20 miles even with about a thousand feet of climbing, roughly 6,000 feet of descending, which was amazing because I've never really done that much descending in one ride. Um, the bike that I'm riding is pretty new to me too, so that was really fun to break it in. Still kind of getting used to it, but uh, where we're going to be heading in the next couple weeks is just going to have more and more riding. So we got to do a couple errands in town, and then we're going to roll out towards Crater Lake. So I think this is where we're going to leave you guys, and we'll see you next time. And if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss a beat. So we'll catch you next time. Peace.